Welcome to Let's Chat. To my lovely subscribers, viewers, and would-be subscribers, I am Bonnie Jusna Gangbali. Today, I have come to tell you about phrasal verb. Do you know this phrasal verb is very helpful for your vocabulary enhancement? If you use these phrasal verb in exams like IELTS, TOEFL, you get more marks. You are recognized more. So. Better use this phrasal verb to get more marks. So, what are phrasal verb? Ever thought of it? Phrasal verb, the name itself says that it is a phrase. And we will let you know about phrasal verb in my entire video. Keep watching, but hit the bell icon for notification on time, and do subscribe this channel if you have not done yet. What are phrasal verb? The name itself phrase says that it is a combination of two or three words and verb gives you an indication there must be a verb that is action word over here now if a verb is followed by preposition or adverb or both this is known as phrasal verb this may contain two or three words let's see few examples where you can understand now let us go through few examples for example first looked back on or look back on whatever it is if you take it word by word it will mean little different but look back on means to recollect when i looked back on my childhood memories i felt nostalgic next blow up blow up means to explode even there is another meaning to finish the bomb blew up the building or he blew up his entire salary for buying an expensive gift so the same phrasal verb may have two meanings now let me go through another example put forward means to give suggestion reena put forward her views and it was amazing people accepted it now use of one verb but in different phrasal form let me take an example as call and we will be adding it with a preposition or an adverb and make it a different sense let me give you a small list selective ones call up call around call back call on call off let me view it with examples now let me give you the meanings using it in the sentences so that you understand it properly call around that means you ask around you ask for help or you keep on asking many people so how it is used in a sentence he called around for help but no one came for it because no one was available now let us come to another example call up call up is nothing just use your phone and call somebody so i called up my friend but she did not reply now let me add some story to it another example of it call back another phrasal verb i am using call back since i used call up so i called up my friend and she did not reply now what happened my friend called me back as she saw my miss call so you can understand the difference between call up and call back Now let me go with another example. Call off or call off. Any form of verb you can use. That means cancel. The event was called off due to this pandemic. Means it was cancelled. One more. You can have the same phrasal verb, but the meaning stands different. Call on. One meaning is to visit. We call on our friends for a party, for a gathering, or a different meaning for call on is. to answer questions my professor called on me to answer question number 1 to 10 and i answered it confidently i think now phrasal verbs with call is little clear to you but if at all you have some doubt why don't you mention it in the comment box we will revert and yes subscribe this channel hit the bell icon for notification and i'm waiting for the like icon so that i know i get the notification that you liked my video
थैंक यू फॉर व्यूइंग